cover chapter number three today, and uh, that is going to be uh, covered from the same book, Engineering Mechanics by R. C. Hibbler. Now, in the last lecture, uh, we discussed these three topics, which is what is the condition for equilibrium of a particle. When we talk equilibrium ki baat karte hain, aur khaskar particle, ki baat karte hain, for a particle uh, to be in equilibrium, there shouldn't be any unbalanced force acting on the particle. It means that once you are applying the condition of equilibrium for a particle, then you are going to apply this particular condition, which is summation F equal to zero. Uh, uh, and uh, since we are uh, dealing with coplanar force system, that is, we are going to uh, consider those forces which are acting within a plane on that particle. Uh, so for a coplanar force system, we are going to resolve this summation F into its two components. And we can write summation Fx equal to zero. That is, there isn't going to be any unbalanced force along the x-axis. Similarly, summation Fy equal to zero. That is, there shouldn't be any unbalanced force acting along the y-axis. Now, in order to apply these two equations on that particle, uh, we need to draw the free body diagram of that particle very carefully. Now, what is a free body diagram? As we discussed in the previous lecture, free body diagram banane ke liye jab aap kisi particle ki free body diagram banate hain, you need to isolate that particle from the surrounding. That is, you need to cut off each and every connection of that particle from the surrounding. Jahan jahan wo surrounding se connect hai, aapne uske connections ko khatam karne hai, aur har connection ko khatam karne ki natije mein, you are going to get some uh, forces, some reaction forces is acting on that particle. So a free body diagram basically represents an isolated uh, um, isolated uh, figure of that uh, particle in which you are going to uh, show all the action and reaction forces on that uh, isolated figure. <clears throat> So, uh, uh, some revise kar lete what was the procedure of uh, solving all such problems uh, involving coplanar force system? So, coplanar force equilibrium problems for a particle can be solved using the following procedure. Uh, initially, aap tamam particles ki jiske aapne analysis karni hogi, uski free body diagram banayenge. Free body diagram, jaise abhi humne kaha, you need to draw the free body diagram by using these three steps. Ki aap establish karenge or the x, y axis within the suitable orientation on that uh, particle. Uh, you need to label all the known and unknown forces uh, along with their magnitude and direction which are acting on that particle in that free body diagram. Now, the sense of a force having an unknown magnitude can be assumed. Uh, iske baad phir aap, uh, jab free body diagram complete kar lenge, to then you are going to apply the equations of equilibrium summation fx equal to zero as well as summation fy equal to zero. Uh, components are positive if they are directed along the positive axis and negative if they are directed along the negative axis. Ke wo tamam forces, uh, jab aap unko resolve karenge, agar unke components positive x direction mein aare, so you are going to indicate them with a positive sign. Agar wo negative axis ke tarf aare, so you are going to include them in the relevant equation with a negative sign. Uh, now, if more than two unknowns exist, now since you have these two equations, so at most uh, you can solve these two equations for two unknowns only. However, if the number of unknowns are greater than two, for example, three unknowns hai aapke paas, so then you should look for some spring force, maybe kahi spring laga hua aur aap spring force ka istamal karte hai, ek unknown ko johe wo eliminate kar sake. Uh, moreover, the magnitude of a force is always a positive quantity. Then if the solution for a force yields a negative result, yani aapne ek unknown force ka direction assume kar liya tha, aapne apna solution kiya aur solution karne ke baad us force ka jo magnitude hai, wo aapko negative sign ke saath mil rahe. So negative sign ke saath milne ka matlab kya hai ki aapne jo uska direction assume kiya tha, you are going to reverse your direction in the free body diagram. Okay. And alternately that force is acting opposite to your assumed direction. So jo bhi known forces hai, unko aap apne correct direction mein jo hai, wo free body diagram pe indicate karte hai. However, unknown forces ke liye generally hum unka positive direction jo hai, wo assume kar lete hai, solve karte hai. Agar to answer aapka us force ki value positive aati hai, it means your assumption is correct. However, agar aapke paas answer negative a jate hai, it means that you are going to change or reverse your assumption. So I hope that this procedure, which we last time uh, theories, ki thi, ye is clear to everyone. Yes, sir. Today, yes, we will cover some examples and uh, problems from this topic. And probably, if time is left, we will the next topic ka bhi thoda sa introduction. If you look at the major, this whole chapter is 
टॉपिक से मिलकर बनाए वन इज दिस कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम एंड अपलाइंग द कंडीशन ऑफ इक्लिब्रियम फॉर अ कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम जो कि आज हम कवर करेंगे एंड नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज अ थ्री डायमेंशनल फोर्स सिस्टम एंड द कंडीशन ऑफ इक्लिब्रियम फॉर अ थ्री डायमेंशनल फोर्स सिस्टम तो ये दो टॉपिक्स हैं कोप्लेनर आज हम कवर करेंगे और थ्री डायमेंशनल प्रोबेबली हम नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में जो है वो कवर कर रहे होंगे ओके वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद एग्जाम्पल थ्री डैश टू इन विच दिस सिलेंडर डी is having a mass of 60 kg and is supported by the cables arrangement as shown to you in the figure the system is in equilibrium you need to determine the tensions or the forces in cables ba and bc of this force of this cable system so aapke paas ek cylinder hai jiska mass aapko given hai which is uh, 60 kg and it is being supported by two cables ba and bc uh, you need to determine the tension in each and every cable as shown to you in the figure okay so starting with drawing the free body diagram of this cylinder d agar main cylinder d ki baat karu to is cylinder d ki free body diagram jo banate hain to the weight of the cylinder would be acting vertically downward jisko main se w d se represent karta hu and uh, once i remove this cable connection बी डी जो केबल कनेक्शन है इसको मैं रिमूव करूंगा तो आपने लास्ट टाइम देखा था कि जब जब हम किसी भी केबल को रिमूव करते हैं तो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट टेंशन फोर्स इन द केबल एंड सिंस इट इज द टेंशन फोर्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी ड्रॉन अवे फ्रॉम दिस केबल सो इस टेंशन फोर्स को मैं टी बी डी से जो है वो डिनोट कर देता हूँ सो द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ दिस सिलेंडर इज नाउ कंप्लीट नो वंस द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम इज कंप्लीट so i am going to apply the condition of equilibrium on this cylinder along the y axis kyunki aapke paas jo forces hain wo y axis ke along hain i am going to take positive y direction uh, upward and i am going to apply the condition of equilibrium which is summation fy equal to 0 uh, so once i am going to apply this condition it means that tbd minus wd should be equal to 0 Uh, so I hope that uh, this equation is clear to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes. Chale. So uh, from this equation, we can write the tension in cable BD to be equal to the weight of this cylinder D, and that is equal to weight. Kitna hota hai? Mg ke barabar hota hai. Mass apko given hai. G apke pas 9.81 hai. So accordingly, uh, this TBD would comes out to be 588. Six newton. So this is going to be the tension in cable BD. Okay. Next, up. Karein ye kya ke uh, you need to draw the free body diagram of this ring B. Up next step me up is ring B ke free body diagram jo hai wo draw karenge. Now on this ring there are three forces which are acting. One is this tension in this cable which is uh, TBC. Isko me TBC se represent karta hu and it is acting at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the positive x axis uh, the second force which is acting on this ring b is this force which is being represented by tba that is tension in cable ba so aapke paas tba force aa gayi hai which is acting in cable ba and its direction is being represented by this smaller triangle jo ki 3 4 5 uski length jo hai wo given hai uh, iske alawa bhi koi force act karegi so is pe weight of cylinder bhi act karega तो so, इसके ऊपर बेसिकली ये वाली टेंशन एक्ट करेगी जिसको हमने इससे पहले टी का नाम दिया था एंड एज वी हैव सेड अर्लियर दिस दिस इज बेसिकली इक्वल टू द वेट ऑफ सिलेंडर सो नाउ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम इज कंप्लीट इस रिंग बी के ऊपर तीन फोर्सेस एक्ट कर रही हैं वन इज टी बी सी एक्टिंग एट एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री द अदर वन इज टी बी ए जिसका एंगल आपको इस स्मॉलर ट्राइंगल से पता चल सकता है एंड द फाइनल फोर्स इज द वेट ऑफ द सिलेंडर विच वुड बी एक्टिंग downward so this ring is being acted upon by three forces i hope that the free body diagram of this ring is come is uh, understood to each of each one of you yes, yes sir sir ye jo aapne aage likha hai ye ye kya likha hai sorry ye samajh nahi aa raha ah kya maine jo likha hai tbd equal to wd yes sir aage kya ek minute 16 16 into 9.81 देखिए वेट आप वेट एम के बराबर होता है ना मैथ आपको गिवन है उसको जी से मल्टीप्लाई कर दें यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ वेट ओके सो नाउ अप्लाइंग द 
conditions of equilibrium on this ring b after drawing the free body diagram uh, the conditions of equilibrium says that summation fx should be equal to 0 Uh, so, what are the forces which are acting along the x-axis from the free body diagram of ring B? Can you identify those forces? Sir, T B C. Okay, its का कौन सा component आएगा? Cos. Cos forty five positive negative. Sir, negative. So, अगर आप और से देखें, मैं जब components बनाता हूँ, तो T B C चूँकि first quadrant में लाई करते हैं, इसके जो दो components बनेंगे, वो positive x, positive y. अगर मैं टी बी ए की बात करता हूं तो इसके जो दो कॉम्पोनेंट्स बनेंगे नेगेटिव एक्स एंड पॉजिटिव वाई सिंस टी बी ए लाइज इन द फर्स्ट कॉर्डिनेंट सो अकॉर्डिंगली टी बी सी कॉस फोर्टी फाइव और टी बी ए का कौन सा कॉम्पोनेंट आएगा सर उसका फोर ओवर फाइव आ जाएगा आई होप कि अब तक तो ये स्मॉलर ट्राइंगल से आप सारे वाकिफ होंगे जब ये स्मॉलर ट्राइंगल आए तो इसको किस तरह इस्तेमाल करना है क्योंकि आप एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट कर रहे हैं तो एक्स एक्सिस के अलॉन्ग जो छोटे ट्राइंगल की लेंथ है वो फोर है हाई प्रोटीन फाइव है सो दैट वुड बिकम फोर ओवर फाइव पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव नेगेटिव तो नेगेटिव साइन आएगा जिस तरह अभी बात हुई थी टी जो है वो सेकेंड क्वार्टर में लाई करते हैं शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो Let me call it as equation number one. Applying the second condition of equilibrium, which says that summation f y should be equal to zero. इसी तरह आपके पास जो y components आएंगे, they are going to be T B C sine 45, which is going to be a positive component, as well as T B A with a positive sign. और चूंकि y axis के along ये smaller triangle की length three है, so it would be three over five minus W D. to be equal to 0 so this would be equation number 2 so aapke paas do equations hain unknowns kitne hain isme sir two do unknowns hain so you are going to solve these two equations for these two unknowns in order to find out the values of those two unknowns so accordingly jab aap solve karenge the